Well, Lisa Fernandez, by her own admission, is no artiste, but she's no. with a few talented kids this morning who certainly are. Hey, Lise. So talented. I just want to say, you must come to the Art Gallery of WA and check out Year 12 Perspectives. That's where I am now. This mind-blowing is the only way I can describe it. I've put a few of the uh, art up on my Instagram, but I'm here with Alice. Morning, Alice. Morning. Now, Alice uh, went to Perth College last year and they're, they're graduates now. Alice, tell us a bit about your art piece. It's about your grandfather. Uh, yeah, well, it's called Trevor and it's sort of about like the objects that people be leave behind when they're gone. Yes. And sort of like their personality that they leave in the object. Oh. Things, so. Well, I was just chatting to your mum and she's so proud. She didn't want to be on camera, but she was like, yeah. So so this is the sort of stuff you can come and see. Uh, all the art, you, you know, it tells you a bit about the, ch the kid, the student and, and what they've done. And I've got a whole heap of students here ready to show me their art and to tell me what school they're from. Give a shout out to Tim. Future. <laughs> I believe Hello. the children are a future. <laughs> Teach them well and let them lead the way. Look at that. Honestly, seriously, they're our future. Our future's in good hands, Tim. Yeah. Awesome. I'll be back shortly with more songs from Whitney and students Never at the Art Gallery. Never too much Whitney on a Thursday morning. Oh, a bit too much Whitney. Never mind. Yeah. OK. Talk to you soon. Thank you, Lisa. Let's check back in with Lisa now, who's hanging out with some talented kids this morning, Lise. Certainly are. OK, this is the Year 12 Perspectives, Tim, at the Art Gallery of WA. I'm with Maddie from Melville Senior High School. Hi, Maddie. Hi. Maddie's done charcoal on paper, and I hope you can see it properly from where we are. Maddie, tell us a bit about it. Um, it's called The Indignation and the Ecstasy, and it's really just an exploration of the human condition and the raw emotions and how we react to everyday settings, you know, throughout life. And give us a shout-out to your art teacher. Uh, Miss McCarthy, she was so supportive and unbelievably helpful throughout the year. Is Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, and amazing. You know what Maddie's doing now, Tim? She's not even pursuing her. She's becoming a teacher because she loves it. Look, I'm just going to quickly show you. This is Agnes from Perth Mod School. She's done a self-portrait. This wow. stuff is phenomenal. Oh, I know, Tim. It's phenomenal. What's, go what's, what's going on there? I oh, know. Now, I'm going to head to uh, my old school. Uh, Alice went to Mercedes, and she's done an amazing piece. Hi, Alice. Hi. Now, this is called Exactitude is Not Truth. Alice, do they still talk about me at Mercedes? Do they... Oh, yeah, you know, it's like a shrine built for you. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't know you know that, that one that you so. paid for and had installed yourself, Lee? Correct, yeah. yeah. I went down and installed <laughs> yeah. that just last week. So it's a nice shrine, nice. isn't it? Now, Alice, tell us very briefly about yours. Uh, it was basically made to be in two different styles to talk about how, like, there's different forms of artwork and, yeah. like, exactitude is not the truth. So, like, you just have to look at it from different perspectives so that mm. even simple minimalist artwork can be seen as true great art. Mercedes. <laughs> Mercedes College. Look at that. Representing. Re represent. Okay, thanks, <laughs> Alice. And over here from uh, St Mary's yes. Anglican College, we have Amy. Amy. Hi, Amy. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Okay, now, Amy, tell us about yours, because you've done photography, which I love. Yeah, this is my artwork floating, and I've done sort of photography that I've edited together and then put layers on top. And it's about um, sort of our placement in our environment and sort of where we are on the map. Wonderful. Yeah. And who's your art teacher? My art teacher is Miss Cooper. Hello. <laughs> um, hi to Miss Cooper. Oh, you know Sherry Lee's at St Mary's. <laughs> is Sherry Lee went to um, St Mary's, yeah. didn't she? Sherry Lee, who does our weather. Yes, yes she, she did. Actually, yes. yes, she did. On um, no, she did. Sherry Lee. And again, <laughs> obviously all the of shrine's us, still under construction there. <laughs> so there's you, me, and Sherry Lee, who are probably the three most untalented, unarty <laughs> people ever. That's great. <laughs> Dana, I love this one. Morning, Dana. Morning. Dana is from John Septimus Road. Dana, tell us what your uh, oil on canvas is. Um, mine's a symbolic piece. It's about serial killers, which is kind of dark, but it kind of like challenges the ideas we have yep. about it and gives you an insight inside their mind. Wow. Yep, so when Dana was commissioning her face, she goes, serial killers, they said, I don't think so, Dana. But she got it up, which is fantastic. All right, we'll keep walking along here. Hello. Now, a few of the kids have uh, a couple of pieces in, uh, but Holly is from St Mark's, Anglican. Holly, tell us about your unholy trinity. Um, well, it's called the Unholy Trinity, and it's basically a feminine reversal of the masculine Christian Holy Trinity. Wow. Wonderful. I know, wow. That's all I've done the whole time. Thank you so much for coming along. Now, Yay. these kids, uh, they're not at Year 12 anymore, Tim, but they are doing, you know, a lot of them at university now, and Year 12 Perspectives is happening because they had to put these in for last year. And I tell you right now, again, these kids are our future. Elton. Elton is my brother, pretty much. Elton Fernandez. Now, Elton's done uh, a beautiful uh, book, and his, his is called uh, Happiness, question mark, and it's about a young boy's search for happiness. Isn't that right, Elton? Yeah. 
-hmm. Yep, and Elton didn't want to talk too much, but I said that I would come and represent him uh, and our family here. He's not really my family, but Fernandez is close enough. So it's beautiful. So I just want to say again, thank you to the Art Gallery for WA for having us. And I really wanted to come today because, I mean, I remember this going on, you know, even when we were at school, Tim, back in 1875, the year 12 Perspectives. And... Um, you can now come and view the incredible artwork and see it's for free and you can also vote for your favourite uh, piece of art. So it's totally worthwhile. That's a worthwhile. tough job though, voting for your favourite. I know, I know. There are about 69 pieces on display. Some kids have done two, so all up 65 artists. And you know what? The children are our future. They are. I on won't ask note. you to pick a favourite now, Lise. I don't make me pick a favourite. Not when all these kids yeah. are here. It's so I won't mean. Do that to you. <laughs> all right, I'll be back with the weather, and I've got one more bit of artwork to show you. So uh, I'll catch you shortly.